Hello everyone, today it's time for a pretty interesting video. So in front of me is an Indal Arc as you can see. And I replaced these a few weeks ago. And as you can see, these are still very shiny and aren't even that old. I don't even think they've lasted 10 years. But of course they had to get swapped out for LED. But it made me think, uh, can I manage to turn this old lantern into an LED fixture. Could of course just stick an LED lamp in here. But since I have a lot of these spare LED plates I figured maybe if we get a piece of metal we cut it in the shape of the bowl, add an LED plate on it, the driver and everything. Maybe that we can create a very good looking LED fixture. So let's first open the lantern up and see what's inside. So it's a PLT arc, which is probably pretty unique. So I was thinking, let's just get a sort of a metal plate or something, cut it out in the shape of the bowl, add it onto the bowl and just put the driver right here. So lucky me managed to get a few of these retrofitting LED plates, so these things of course do exist. Um, these are only problem is that these are made for Philips iridium lanterns But maybe that we can cut out the perfect shape of the bowl on this plate as well I don't really plan on saving the LEDs right here even though they look pretty high quality um, These aren't So I want to strip pretty much everything from this plate so we just have the plate itself So I managed to cut out or uh, draw out the shapes you can see. This is the perfect shape of the bowl. Don't, didn't really want the open square in here to be in the middle because that would look a bit weird I think. Which it still kind of does but whatever. Now I'm going to have to try to cut out the shape here. I know there's like special tools and everything to do uh, those kinds of things. Might be buying those um, whenever this turns out to be a success but this is just a test so i'm going to try to cut it out so i thought the camera was recording but unfortunately it wasn't but uh, cutting this out actually was quite easy all right so next step we have an led plate oh, there it is with eight leds here don't really know from which lantern these are i'm assuming something like electronics prisa or something could be wrong I have quite a few of these and I've figured these would probably fit on here. So want to put them in the middle or something. Which this seems to be the middle. So I'm going to do some uh, drilling holes and wiring up and stuff. The LED unit is finished. Of course, it's the product itself isn't finished because we need to add a driver and everything. But this is pretty much the plate itself. I don't really think that these newer LEDs are going to need cooling. Uh, the ones that we uh, removed from the original ones that were on this piece of metal uh, had to send I send out a lot more light than these have that's why I figured those would get really hot and do actually need cooling but these are pretty low lumens LED so don't really think these are going to need that much cooling 
So we're going to get rid of all the stuff that's on this desk and then we'll uh, assemble the lantern itself. <laughs> And this is what it looks like, LED plate, just a standard Phillips driver, not too much wires. Yeah, it does look actually not too bad. And this is what the bottom looks like, which is also not too bad. The only thing that I kind of fucked up is the fact that the wire um, comes out at the top of the lantern, not at the back right here, which should be a bit more logical. So now I just want to kind of clean the lantern, but before we're going to do that, let's actually test if it works. And it actually does work as well. <laughs> pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cool. All right, so this one is finished. It works well. The only, again, unfortunate part is that I didn't flip the LEDs and start them the wrong way. But I'm going to make another one of these. Then I want to put them outside in the garden and see what they look like at night.
also created two new ones. These have the uh, LEDs and everything in the right position. And to be honest, they also look a little bit better like that. So we're going to install them on the two columns here in the garden. And then we're going to see what it looks like at daytime whenever it's on a column and at nighttime as well. All right, they are installed as you can see. Looks pretty good. We're going to leave them turned on for a while and then we'll come back at night to see what it actually looks like. Because that's the most important part. So it's sort of night and as you can see they're still working they've been on for like five or six hours now and i have to say that the light that's coming from these things is pretty great as well it is uh, of course harsher to the eyes as a fluorescent is but that's pretty much any led not too bad and it just depends on the way you're looking at it but it is a very great type of light that it provides and what we did here is very environmental friendly of course because I mean we reused an older lantern that's still in a very good condition we re also reused some uh, already broken LED retrofitting kits and we used LED plates from uh, lanterns uh, that the car crashed into and had to get scrapped so I'm definitely going to do this with pretty much all of the arc lanterns that I own, which are like 20 of them that I saved from the project. And they might see some future use in a project that will do. Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day and see you in the next video.